do a BC agreement with the buyer, how do you position that conversation uh, so they are expecting to sign the assignment in a couple days before? Great question, Chris. Um, essentially what we do is uh, we tell them, we say, listen, right now we don't know if we're gonna do a double escrow or an assignment on this. So we're gonna send you the purchase contract, sign the purchase contract, deposit your earnest money. Once you have your de earnest money deposit, I'll talk to the title company and we'll decide how we're gonna do. But if we decide to do an assignment, then uh, we'll send you the assignment agreement um, prior to closing. So in that case, you don't wanna send the assignment prior to uh, negotiating with the buyer because um, they're gonna see the assignment fee uh, or they're gonna wanna see the contract with the assignment fee. And what's gonna happen is, um, they're going to re they're going to try to renegotiate your deal based upon how much money you're making instead of the property. And I hate, uh, I, I, I don't negotiate off my fee, right? It's very difficult to negotiate off your fee. So what we do is we negotiate off the property itself, off the comps, off the condition, off the rents in the area and stuff like that. But I only like to, uh, 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 that's why I get a purchase contract and I get non-refundable earnest money right out of the gate first and then I'll flip it to an assignment agreement.